feel the, the attack on the court for the guys? Oh, man, I feel like having to be out there, man. Um, got through my little situation. Um, but I'm happy to be focusing on nothing but basketball right now. How's your mindset? I mean, this was a group to trial. I mean, what, how do you feel just mentally and everything and conditioning wise? You know, I feel good. You know, um, the issue was a huge issue. Um, we took it very serious. Um, I love the way that um, me, along with my friends, how we presented ourselves, and we love the way that we was represented along the way. So, uh, with that being said, they allowed me to work out every day um, after. Um, trial and uh, continue to work on my conditioning and basketball skills. Derek, you, you obviously didn't win the case, but how hard was it for you just personally to have your private life dragged out like that publicly? Um, I'm like I'm a grown man. Um, I put myself in these, this situation and um, I had to get myself out. Um, I was focused the entire time. Um, more than out of all of this, um, the only thing that hurt me was missing my son's birthday party. Um, missing his birthday and his birthday party. Those were the two things I was worried about the most. Um, not being there uh, with my family and her side, her family and her, and um, being there for my son. That was the only thing. How excited to be back here and playing basketball now? You know, it's a blessing, man. I'm, I'm very appreciative. I love the position that I'm in. I love the mindset that I have right now. And um, I love the shape that I'm in right now. You told us all along that you have nothing to hide. And, yeah. Um, you know, whatever. You're just going to go out there and say what, tell the truth and hope the jury. So to come back with the with what the jury came up with, I mean, do you feel like vindicated? Like you did, you proved yourself? Um, a little bit, but um, at the same time, um, it was another person that was involved in this. So um, if anything, I've just been praying for myself and praying along with, like, for her um, because, um, the issue is very big in the states and everywhere. So I'm um, just praying for the whole, for everyone that was involved. And um, like knowing that all this is out of my control, only thing I could work on is being a better person, being a better dad, brother, um, cousin, uncle, um, being the best that I could be so I could help others. When, when you left the team, you kind of weren't sure when you'd be back. And did you think it would be take this long? And did, what was there? Thoughts of flying back and forth, and w what went into that decision? To we took it one day at a time, one day at a time. And um, after that day, um, towards the end of the day, that's when we will figure it out what I had to do. But yeah, we took it one day at a time, sir. What is your, uh, your concern or confidence about being ready to play in, in three days now with the time you have been away? Um, I'm very <laughs> confident, man. I really believe this why this why I'm here um, to hoop. I still have a lot of confidence in my ability. Um, the confidence never left. If anything, it made me focus in a little bit more, like having time to myself in the gym and um, just working on things that I think I need to work on. Did you think it would be, I mean, no one really knows how long the trial is ever going to take, but did, when you left, did you think it would, you'd be gone this long? No, like I said, I took it one day at a time. Um, I really didn't know um, how long it, it was going to take. Do you have to get caught up in the offense? Did you meet with Jeff yesterday to do that? Yeah, but um, I think um, my basketball IQ is very high. Like, we run the same sets. It's a couple of wrinkles here and there. Uh, but for the most point, um, we're running an up-tempo type game. Then um, on, um, like, out-of-bounds plays, that's when we're throwing in the triangle on dead ball. So it's very simple. Derek, going through something like this, how do you think it's has it changed your outlook, or it, not only in life but in basketball? Did all the time you had to go through all of this, what has it changed you at all? I mean, it would change anyone, but um, like I said, I spoke on it, and um, this is all behind me now. Like it, that's the past now. Only thing I could uh, focus on and worry on, worry about is the future. Like being along with my teammates, being happy, just being around them. Um, I love the way that they play. Um, I love the way that we are. We're coming together as a team, like the team chemistry. And um, our biggest problem is defense right now. Offensively, we're going to be all right, but our defense has to be on point and everybody has to communicate while we're out there. But I'm not worried about like offense or anything. It's our defense. Last season, you made it back for the season opener? Say what? Last season, you missed training camp and made it back for the season opener? 
I don't remember. Um, but no, no, I think I missed. I think I missed um, because of my eye. Yeah, yeah. but um, I, don't, I forgot about last year when I made it back. But I think I missed training camp because of my eye. Well, just having just one preseason game going into the season opener. I mean, are you a little worried about? that, you know, in terms nah, of game shape or anything? Tell you the truth, I'm not. Uh, like, I've been preparing for this for a long time, um, ever since damn near. Um, we got out. We didn't make the playoffs last year. Like like I said, I, I'm still chasing something right now. Um, I just want to hoop and just let my game speak for itself. What kind of workouts were you doing out in Los Angeles? Um, basketball court workouts and um, just by myself. It remind me when I was a kid, just playing outside. Hooping by myself and having time to think about things. Carmelo said the other night that he thought <coughs> Cavaliers behind you, having the Chicago stuff behind you, that this whole thing might feel like a fresh restart. You know, spark you in a way that, that things haven't in, in a while. Do you feel that? Um, I feel the same way uh, a little bit, but um, like I said, um, to sum it up, is I just feel appreciative. You know, just having um, a new chance, a new opportunity to come showcase my skills and everything that I've been working on um, ever since I, I picked up a basketball in a basketball culture and basketball environment. So um, it's a blessing to be here. It's a blessing to, I ain't get a chance to play in front of the, the crowd yet, but um, that would be soon. But um, it's a blessing just to be in this situation, so I would say that. You, you obviously had the support from the Knicks all along and, and yeah. teammates like Joe Kim. What, was that important to you? Was that yeah, yeah, and I was talking to them along the way. Um, every day, um, talking to, if not Phil, Steve, um, Joakim, um, some of the other players that reached out, um, just letting me know that they was concerned and uh, wanted me back. So um, that took a lot of pressure off of, um, it eased my mind a little bit, and just let me know that um, while I was working out out there that uh, I had to go harder because looking at some of the games, it looked like we was playing good basketball at some periods of the game, some I mean certain times during the game, and um, that excited me a little bit. You're talking about preseason. Preseason, yeah. yeah. Derek, being you, from Chicago, do you have anything, or the next have anything, players have anything planned for the national anthem next year? Preseason? No, no, that's something that you probably will have to ask Melo or Joe King, but I haven't heard anything about that. You uh, took, you know, some photos with the jurors, and some people maybe thought wasn't right or whatever, but yeah. I mean, w when the closing arguments had ended, I mean, we, were you pretty confident that the jurors had, you know, you, you were in good shape? And like, do you remember your mindset waiting for the- I just remember end? being nervous and um, I didn't have anything to do with the jurors um, wanting pictures. Like they wanted the pictures. It wasn't like I forced the pictures or wanted the picture to put it out there. Like they wanted pictures and um, I just took a picture and that's all that was. You told us before you left that left that settlement that you, you didn't want to do it. You wanted to go prove your innocence and you maintained you were innocent. You didn't want to set, do a settlement. Did you have people before that, lawyers or advisors telling you, this is the easy way out, pay some money and get it and avoid it? I'm, I'm sorry, but that's going too deep into it, sir. <laughs> okay. um, I, I really don't even want to think about that right now. I'm sorry, but, no, but um, just happy. everything that I was going through, um, I'm happy that I'm past it. And um, um, I'm happy that, like I said, how we was represented in court, and I love the way, way that me and my friends presented ourselves along the way. Sorry, right. sir. No, no. All right, thank you, Jay.